so I start an outside pull. Weird start. Um, oh shoot, we're doing voiceovers now, aren't we? Casey? We're doing voiceovers now, aren't we? Good morning, everybody. Uh, we are back at Newcastle in our Burrell Art Machines. Um, for KRA race number two out here today. Uh, Dad, Casey, and I felt really good in practice yesterday. I think Dad and I specifically felt great. Casey was really great when he was in somebody else's cart, but his cart, um, his cart was having issues specifically around the brake. So if we can't get that figured out, he'll be running Dad's today. My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me. My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be Appreciate all that is vacant It's just for the taking If you make up your mind you can take it I'm never complacent I would work in a mansion or basement Yeah There's no replacement for persistence It's a patience Yeah In this life I wanna be soaring To feel sun inside when it's pouring And I'll fight till anxiety is foreign I'm so sick of my mind's extortion I felt great all day yesterday. I, I truly felt like I was the guy to beat, if not uh, the guy, you know, one of the top couple. And then in the first practice, I think it was pretty well cemented. Um, let some guys by on the first lap because they were, you know, aggressive as usual. And then after that, was pulling at them uh, the rest of the way without too much of a, a problem and without really much help. But um, we got one more practice and we got qualifying before our final. And the big issue is the wind. It's not too bad right now, but it's gonna be 20 mile an hour wind right down that strut, front stretch that we've got. So everybody's gearing really high and you need a draft. You can't draft to qualifying though. So uh, you don't want to be the first guy. I don't know how it's going to play out, but I'm excited. We got the national layout today and we're feeling really good. So hopefully we come home with some hardware today, maybe in three different classes. That'd be first. Good morning. And what a fantastic morning it is. As you can see by the dandelion spotting the grass here at the oak tree of go-kart tracks newcastle motorsports park the morning walk with dad we're balancing tranquility on this side a little goose on the pond with the roar of go-kart engines on the other and it's just one of those days last week we talked about id super ego and ego and today it's just like i don't know why things are they are what they are and you got to get out there and take advantage of it and we've had just a fantastic weekend had the family around had fast go-karts amongst the three of us with great people today we don't care why things are like they are we're just glad they are Got a little bit of a rarity here. Looking around in the stall pit. So far this morning after one practice, everybody's happy. There's no thrashing. Ben's checking some air pressure. But so far, so good. Almost makes you worry. Had two rounds of practice, qualifying's next. And all day yesterday, uh, I was battling this like drag out of a corner and actually i had it in the same the the previous race and i thought it was a setup where i just had too much grip in the rear in that race and it was just causing me to bog down well it wasn't the the brake pads were sticking out um they just stayed out so it was dragging the brake and uh turns out you know that that ends up murdering your speed 
Um, so was bad on that yesterday and I'm not that good at brakes, so I wasn't able to fix it. Ran both practices today and ultimately it just I couldn't get it fixed. And so I just took my weight off the 14, slapped it on dad's cart. Big props to dad for letting me drive his cart. He's gonna be qualifying here soon. And hopefully I can make something of it. Qualifying wrap up here. I uh, cart was so good and I have to be careful here because a 59 year old man whining doesn't do anybody any good. But uh, got, got into a group and I just felt like I was lifting constantly. So I backed away from the group and let several carts go back. It, it left me with just one lap. And uh, so it was a decent lap. Had one turn where I missed, uh, missed the apex and uh, it, that cost me, as it turns out, uh, probably two or three positions. Big gaggle of carts time-wise from about 12th back to 19th and I ended up 16th. So we'll see. Uh, not, not great at passing, obviously, but we'll see if we can't do it. So a little qualifying wrap up. And this is usually the part where I told you, or I tell you guys, that uh, I screwed up in qualifying and I've got a lot more speed and blah, blah, blah. Well, <clears throat> that's not the case this time. Um, had, a, had a pretty solid qualifying run, ended up second. And that was in dad's cart right there. Um, it's just beautiful. Cart felt, the cart felt very good and uh, it didn't drag the brake, so that yeah, adds that had some time there, or well, subtract some time, and uh, so yeah, it was good, very good, very happy with second. Um, again, big thanks to dad because couldn't have, I mean, it would, I would have been just struggling, struggling. I've got to figure out those brakes, I just don't know brakes, so I guess it's time to really really learn them um fix that problem for on the 14 for next weekend but for this weekend I'll be racing in dad's and uh i can't wait man i can't wait to roll off in second good luck uncle ben <laughs> okay good luck so my qualifying for cik just ended um I don't know if you saw that. She may have just spoiled it for you. I got second, um, and it was it was interesting. I had to basically sell out for my second lap to make it really good because there were a couple of lap carts ahead of us. Uh, the the three guys that I was with, there were a couple of lap carts ahead of us or slower carts rather ahead of us, and so I sold out for my second lap, knowing we'd catch them on the third lap. We caught them on the third lap. Had to pass them, and honestly, just they they slowed us down a little bit, which is fine. Like it's our fault, not theirs. Um, but somehow our third lap was even faster yet. So wound up getting sec or, yeah, second. And I know me, Clay, and the other person, like, I know we all could have been even faster had we not had to pass him. But uh, uh, huge props to Clay. He was the leader there. He's one of, you know, he's probably the best leader um, out here at Newcastle, or certainly one of them. And he is a lot of credit to where that second place is due. And I, I, I told him to him. He did a great job. So um, yeah, starting P2 outside. Uh, front row on this one, it should be fun. I'm excited. L2. He was for now. Still, wasn't he? He was. Wow, he did do a fast lap. Good job, kid. Man, stall racing. Woo! Double twos! Double twos! Should we act really disappointed? <laughs> like, man, that sucks. Oh, so no. <laughs> you decided no. <laughs> He's allowed to know. Who got hurt? Oh, I uh, don't remember. Landon? Yeah, Landon. What was the time? He was 0.2 above you. And you were 19, yeah, we passed two guys on the eight or six or yeah. hey, cool. four or something? Good freaking job, man. That was all you. <laughs> My second lap. Yeah. I, Double two. I, I committed to my second lap as being my best lap because I saw. Well, your third lap was better. I know, I know, Crazy but I was committing. I didn't to think it. It would but be. yes, the you like I said, man, it was all play. You know, technology comes in a lot of forms. We've got cell phones. We've got go karts. 
but you underrate the advancements that were made in food until you hear some young kids talk. So like when I was growing up, watermelons had seeds, grapes had seeds, and Vince Beyonce Regan uh, went to eat some grapes this morning and they had seeds in them. And it was the first time she'd ever had a grape with seeds in them. She didn't know what to do with them. Didn't know whether to eat them or spit them out. Technical advances, something to marvel about. I thought you were coming to say good luck to Uncle Ben. Just getting my fist bump for my nephew there. Um, as you can see, the front row street continues as I'm outside pole on this one. Didn't get a great jump. I think I actually put my hand up because I was a little bit bummed about that uh, that start because I think we had a couple goes at it and this is what we got. Um, cycled back into third and I specifically remember my goal was to kind of go to the front here. I had been feeling all, really good all weekend that I just wanted to go to the front and, um, you know, be the, the leader of the, the group and uh, hopefully push away from some of these guys. So that was kind of my goal coming into this one. Um, if I could get it past these guys uh, I wanted to obviously kind of made a move there before our tires were fully gripped up to try to take advantage of it it cost me uh, Keegan gets by me and then I see clay there as well nice little head tap that we all know and love um, but ultimately I wanted to be that front guy got a little aggressive because of it early and it cost me there see clay going I'm like all right no big deal like clay's obviously he's one of the best leaders around so I'll just follow him for a second um, and hopefully make our way back up to the front. As long as I'm in position, like, we're all good, though. Uh, very uh, bold attempt there. Kind of uh, wasteful. Um, you know, just all it does is separate us from those front four who, if they get that separation, they're, you know, going to take off from us. So, um, you know, kind of a bummer, but I also did the exact same thing a second ago, so can't really talk too much about it. Um, and here is the pursuit of catching back up to those guys. There's a little bit of a draft forming um, between Keegan and Clay, and I know those two guys always go right to the front, and when they hook up, it, it can be problems. So I tuck in line here in fifth, thanks to some battling, um, and ultimately I'm just trying to, to catch back up here. So still in fifth, you can see Keegan and Clay kind of starting to pull away a little bit. I you know want to be up there with them. I want to be that lead cart. So I'm trying to make a move happen. I felt like I was just a fuzz quicker. Um, than the guy in front of me, um, so I tried to make a move, but he defended really well. Um, again, still trying to make that move. I just need a little bit of help from the guys behind me because I'm going to be on the outside of this turn, probably not going to make it stick. Um, and I'm, you know, losing ground because of this. So um, ultimately, if I don't get him here, which I don't, I'm just kind of thinking, all right, got to get back in file and, and do our best to get it. So that's what I do. Um, and then later here, getting uh, under fire from some, some guys behind, um, some battling. I think it had this point kind of knocked me back a little bit. Um, and uh, ultimately, I just kind of concede the position because I didn't want to continue to battle. And I figured I'll, I'll uh, tuck right in behind Maxwell and we can go to work finally um, instead of battling to catch up to those four guys. So the forefront guys are ahead a bit, and then uh, me and Adam here are uh, going to try to catch back up to them. Uh, and he was geared a little bit lower, which is why I wanted to be in front, but uh, he was rolling really well, so uh, he, he did an excellent job as the leader. We actually do wind up kind of pulling in on them some with him in front, so um, it, it winds up working out pretty well, even though uh, I didn't get to be the leader. Um, bold move here again, kind of a late attempt at the pass, and then I feel there may have been a little steering into me, um, hence the use your head, like chill. Um, but anyway, later on, yeah, Maxwell and I, we uh, catch up to these guys um, after a little bit of fighting on their part. Um, <laughs> things getting a little sketchy there. It's the last lap. Um, and so I'm just doing what I can to, to get a couple positions on this last lap. I get one there. And then coming to the final hairpin, um, I'm just, you know, I know there's going to be some chaos. I'm trying to do everything I can to just uh, be on the benefiting end of that. So I see Keegan here uh, is a little bit slower, so I wind up pushing the 15 in front of me. Um, and get by him and then at the line I'm really trying really trying to get by him but ultimately come up just a little bit short and he ends up taking I think I got P4 or 5 P4 I think yeah fourth place in that one so not too bad I got something I want to show you guys it's a little bit of a new scheme here you can see uh, some white wheels uh, that's actually not powder coated though um, 
That's a new wheel I'm trying out this weekend. It's called the, uh, the, the company here, I'll show you the sticker. AMV wheels, um, I got them from Paul. Uh, he, he's the AMV importer here in the States. Uh, Paul's done some, some great, <laughs> He's done his job and told me exactly what I need to know with all these wheels. Um, I'll give you that, the Cliff Notes version though. Uh, it's extremely balanced from what I've seen. Uh, the standard Burrell wheels we have have spokes in them. This doesn't have spokes, you can see here. The back spacing is also a little bit different, but um, they have such less grip than those specific wheels too. Hot day like today, it's been working great, and hot day like yesterday, it's been working great for me. Uh, also, they're supposed to keep the air pressure pretty low, so you could actually run a little bit higher air pressure, have a great start, and then at the end of the race, the pressure hasn't gone up a ton, um, or nearly as much as other wheels. Um, so th it's a full magnesium wheel. It's a great wheel so far. I can't, and I would like to also clarify, Paul knows I'm not here to endorse this product or anything. He sent me a, a a set of these wheels so that we can do a testing video. I'm gonna directly test these AMV wheels with the DF wheels and talk about my personal findings with these and, and just to kind of give that to other people. And if it happens to be an endorsement, so be it. But uh, after, but he, basically I get nothing from this from Paul. He just asked that I test these wheels um, after our conversations. And so um, there will be a video coming up, but my experience after two days, I practiced yesterday and today, race day, phenomenal product, I love it. Um, they're a lot less grip than those Burrell Art wheels. Casey and I did a back-to-back -back test where I ran my cart with these wheels and he was in his cart with the standard Burrell wheels. And then we swapped, it was probably 75 degrees when we did this yesterday. And my goodness, the difference was astounding. People will say there's not a difference in wheels. I can tell you 100% certain, both of us felt it. A big feeling of a difference. Um, I felt great all day, obviously qualified second. I wind up finishing fourth, to, fourth today. And I know if I had made a couple little more changes, there was a lot more in it. I've, I told them I've never felt more confident in the car, meaning if I want to do something with it, I'll do it. Um, I can just put it where I want. So uh, a great product and I, a huge thank you to Paul um, and all of the AMV guys over, I think in Italy who have made this product. I am so stoked to you know, make a video and compare these specifically against the DF wheels. Um, but I think right now, especially as we get into the heat of summer, I'm gonna be using these pretty much every day I can. So uh, I, I love it and much more. Feel free to ask your questions uh, to me or Paul. I can uh, obviously uh, link his stuff as well. So phenomenal product so far. Uh, and I'm excited to do more testing on it. Casey here, and you should be watching a clip of Dad's race right now. But I fudged up. I did not actually record his race, and this clip here is proof of it. So, little well, backstory: Dad, even though he's an IT professional, he, when it comes to cameras, he, they're not his friend. And so, you'll see at the beginning of race that either myself, Ben, or Maddie will hit record, and at the end of the race, one of us will hit the, the camera to stop. Uh, just not something that crosses Dad's mind. So we're always doing it, and this is no different. So here I am trying to minimize the amount of time I record it because the files are huge. So I'm trying to watch for the leaders to take to the track, to hit the button. I hit it there, the camera slid down, and so I didn't know if I hit it for real, so I pressed it again and only recorded half a second of Dad's race. My bad. Well, Dad's race didn't record. Are you kidding? Well, that's classic. You were the one that pushed it, though. I, I pressed it twice. I was pretty sure that happened. Yeah. <laughs> I panicked because I hit when I hit it, the camera went down. Uh, oh my God. Oh, the camera wasn't on. Nope. Mm. Well, there were some I'll things I was curious about too. Yeah, I'll break that news later. Yeah. Yeah. Not now. Well, here I am starting P2 right next to Matthew, coming up to the green flag. And obviously I'm on the outside and I'm just gonna get a little more, or I'm gonna carry more momentum here on the outside so I'm able to jump to the lead. Always a cool feeling to see open track ahead of you. Um, so here I am leading, but the thing is on the out lap, when I came out of the pits, I'm like, uh-oh. I am really stuck. Like I had, I was just so tight, just coming out of the pits and like doing the warm up lap. So was pretty sure I was gonna be in trouble. And I knew on this exit right here. So it's hard to tell without carts in front, but I was, I was slower on exit than I should have been. 
and coming up into this next corner here we call it green corner I was slow as well and I was just kind of stuck to the to the ground and I couldn't spring out of the corner like I wanted to so Ryan makes a move to my inside I tuck him behind him and and really I'm happy to do that I'm cool to sit in second um, but I can just tell like I am I'm in trouble so coming down here into I-70 hairpin I am not good coming out of it until I get a bump from behind from Josh and it was a heck of a good push and it was really windy this day so two carts together could just like fly by a single cart as you saw there uh, all courtesy of Josh pushing me coming down into one of my enemies I-70 hairpin come out of it not good not good at all the guys behind me were tired of it and a train of them go by tuck in behind them and you can just see how like I mean a pack of carts just you don't stand a chance as a solo cart um, this section here is was where I was fast and I would try everything to make up all the ground I could there unfortunately with the three hairpins and then that green corner there that I just there were four corners that I was not good in and so I would just fall further and further back and it was tough so I'd lost them there coming into the, out of the I-70 here and another similar story to before where going down this straight the guys behind saw that I was not fast and you know didn't want to mess with me past me and I quickly lost them uh, coming out of the green corner again here there's gonna be there's a theme here same corners is where I lose you know my spots uh, 90 here I just I was pretty frustrated at that point or at this point so I was looking up to, to maintain any spots I could and uh, so I put up a fight, he went low, did the over-under, and he will tuck in behind me. I'm, yeah, give me, the, give him the head tap. Yeah, come on, just push me, let's go forward. Coming into I-70 here, and on exit, once again, I'm a rolling chicane. So I'm sitting sixth here, and I look over, I see the 90, Brian and Riley flying by me. You see the head shake there very frustrating to go from first down to ninth coming up into the one section I was good at turns one two and three Brian in front of me is gonna get checked up a little bit and so I'm gonna throw it to the inside of my suit twin yep same suit as me and so he was able to hold me off pretty sure it was the suit giving him those powers and then I come up here out of 70 which it looks like I had a decent exit but I'm pretty sure he had a bad exit but I had a run and so I go by, I'm like, hey, dude, nice suit, and move up and take eighth position. Very frustrating to go from leading the race back to ninth, eventually to eighth. And I worked very hard to get to that eighth place, and it was just very frustrating. And you'll see it in my post-race that I didn't want to talk to Ben. I didn't want to hear his questions. I didn't want to I – wasn't, I wasn't feeling chatty afterwards. I don't want to. I don't want to. Why are you sitting on this tire? I can't. Why is it second to ninth? What do you think I think? Maybe further back than ninth. No, it was eighth. Get off this tire. You need to tell Dad a good job. He's he's sad. <laughs> Good job, Kate. Nice job, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Kate and Lee. I love it when Finn like, calls him Casey. <laughs> I think that was the least number of words we've gotten from Casey <laughs> after <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and I, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want any of your questions right now, so we'll have to let him cool off for a bit. Well, how are you feeling? I went from second to ninth. How do you think that? <laughs> so my race just ended, and that means it is sticker ceremony time. 
And for a quick reminder, Maddie, can you bring those over here real quick? So as a reminder, we have gold stars, bigger gold stars. We've got a tornado, a donkey, a turtle somewhere around here, and then a football. So those are the options, and the family is quickly going to assign me, and naturally Ben gets to start off. No, I'll go first. Okay, Dad's got one. Casey, I've never qualified second in my life. You qualified second. That's worth a gold star. <laughs> That's probably gonna be a gold star, guys. Thanks, Dad. Thank you for your cart. I'll give you a gold star. Okay, Casey, I'm going with the tornado. Okay. Uh, for a number of reasons. So your day started off really rough. Yep. The tornado yep. couldn't get the cart going where you wanted to, but then you got in the eye of the tornado yep. and you qualified second, which was awesome. Yeah. And then, and then the you came out of the eye, and then the other side of the tornado <laughs> yeah. hit. So, and then everything, sadly, everything came falling down. Okay, yeah. so this is the bad side. Where do you want it? Over well, here. Uh, well, it started out the day. It was going to well, be a good one. So uh, it's actually, middle, can I put it in the middle? middle? No, it's bad. Sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bad one. Yeah, you choose. I mean, it's up to you. But I'm. I want it sounds a lot middle. more. No, no middle. We're we're we're, we're good or bad. Mom, just hey, put, put it, it on the. Yeah, put it on the bad side. It was not good. But it was good this morning. Look, you turned it around. I can accept it from you. If Ben gave me that tornado, I would be furious. I, yep. <laughs> I had already planned on doing the tornado, you know, after okay, qualification. All right, Maddie. I have also decided to give you a tornado yep. because when you came into the pits after your race, you reminded me a little bit of a storm. Yeah, I was not so, happy. Uh, but also, just like tornadoes, they are very quick storms that last about 10 minutes, lots of damage, but then clean it up afterwards. So you're never mad for long, but it's always slightly entertaining for me when you are. <laughs> All right, Reggie. Family needs a big one too. I don't even know if I was filming that actually. I think I was like this. I was just watching her put it on. I wasn't doing the camera. My bad, guys. Oh, is that what you pick? Oh, no, it's, it's fitting, Finley. <laughs> I don't take it personally. I'm going to tornado. I know it comes from a good place. Can you tell Dada why he gets the turtle? He gets the turtle. Why did you, why'd you pick the turtle? I picked the turtle, but I wouldn't pick a turtle. Because I wanted to pick a turtle. <laughs> because no what? A gold star? Second, and you always have a good attitude. No so. Did you not see me after the race? That well, wasn't a good attitude. Lapse of judgment. <laughs> <laughs> like quick tornado. It's just disappointing. Not tornado. Not today, tornado. All right, so we're gonna go with a turtle here. You just want me to write your name on that sheet <laughs> of the turtle stickers? <laughs> um, you know what? But I humbly accept. Yeah. The turtle. I earned that turtle. His today. son and brother both put a turtle sticker on today. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he got a turtle because he was slow all day yesterday in practice and accepted dad's cart and then he was slow today in the race when it mattered. It didn't need justification guys. My race will speak for itself. Well, okay, so now the good side and bad side are actually even. Yeah, hat backwards, no sleeves, sunglasses on, feeling a little dangerous today. Who was it? There's some athlete that says that, I can't remember. Baker, I think. Anyway, um, I did pretty good today. That's two in a row for me. A fourth and a sixth, doing good in the championship. Need to get a little bit further up there, get some podiums, get a couple wins, I think. But I'll take the consistent finishes um, that are you know, gonna be huge for the championship. I will inevitably win, obviously. Um, Casey had a lot of brake problems on practice yesterday, so he ran dad's car today and was very bound up. Uh, a lot of problems with his grip situation, um, but I don't know. We'll try to figure out what to do. I haven't looked at the weather next weekend, but if it's hot like this, we gotta figure something out. Um, and then dad showed some pace all day in practice yesterday, comes out, tries a couple things in qualifying, which I actually liked, and then in the race also felt probably pretty stuck, got kind of run off, but uh, I don't know. I'm freaking fast. I don't know what the heck these guys' excuses are. Maybe we need to get two more sets of those A and B wheels. Thank you, Paul, once again. Um, if you guys have questions, reach out to me or Paul. We can put his stuff in the thing. Um, anyway, appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week with one more race. And um, also, I want to take this time, I want you guys to watch me versus dad in a 40 with me and flip-flop, or no, with uh, Sam, no, with uh, 
Slippers. Flippers on. So Close check that out. Slippers. Check that out right now. Who do you think is going to win? So we're here just doing uh, normal maintenance. Uh, these two start getting lippy. Dad said that he could <laughs> Dad. Me in a 40, and I told him, I've got slippers right now. I just ate a pretty big meal and drank a whole lot of water, so I'm pretty full, and I will take him in a 40. So I think we're going to find a little spot on the road here, and uh, I'm going to probably beat him by a second, and he might have a heart attack, so Casey might not even want to record this, so he's got his phone ready for 911. Here we are. They're going to race to the mailbox here. Ben's in slippers. Dad's pushing 60. Still stretching. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, there go the slippers. <laughs> Dad, do you want a pity clap? Admittedly, the slippers came off. Whatever, I had no... I, went to I let up, up because I thought he was way back there. <laughs> okay, we're back. Just like I knew, just like I, just like I said, I was gonna win the race. But hats off to Dad. I suppose he made it kind of close. And yeah, my slippers came off. So whatever. But anyway, that was fun. Today was fun. Um, we're gonna be back next week with some more action, and uh, I will do well, and I will try to get these guys to do well. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Thanks. See ya.